welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about similar solids. So if I have the following example, we need to make a scale model of a building and our scale factor is one centimeter equals five meters. So in this picture here, I have a one centimeter square and that's going to be equal to a five meter by five meter square using our scale factor. Now, if I find the areas of this, if our scale factor is 1 to 5, what's going to be the relationship of the areas? Well, 1 times 1 is 1 centimeter squared for the area of the first one, and 5 times 5 is 25 meters squared for the second one. So if our scale factor is 1 to 5, our areas are 1 to 25. So it's a little different than the scale factor. All right, now let's look at the volume. So if I have our volume of our first cube, which is one by one by one centimeter, our volume is going to be one centimeters cubed. Now, if I use my scale factor and I have five meter side lengths, my volume is going to be 125 uh, meters cubed. So five times five times five. So the relationship between the volumes is 1 to 125. So let's look at all of these together. The corresponding side ratio, or the ratio of the lengths, is 1 to 5. Ratio of the areas is 1 to 25, and the ratio of the volumes is 1 to 125. Now this is a really cool little pattern. So we can see, hopefully you can see, that if I take the scale factor A to B, so our first scale factor, like 1 to 5, the area of the ratios, or sorry, the ratio of the areas is going to be that ratio squared. It's going to be A squared to B squared, just like 1 squared is 1 and 5 squared is 25. And the ratio of the volumes is going to be our scale factor cubed. So A cubed to B cubed. All right, so let's use that in a couple examples. So we're going to use the same scale factor from the beginning, one to five for the first two problems here. If the area of the roof of the model is 10 centimeters squared, what is the area of the actual roof? So if I know the scale factor is one to five, and I'm gonna make it look like a fraction instead of uh, a ratio like we see in the problem. It means the same thing, but it's easier to work with. All right, so if I need to find the areas, then I need to use my area ratio. So the areas are going to be one to 25. We have to square our scale factor. Now I can set up a proportion, one to 25 equals 10 to X, because 10 is the model, that's the smaller one, and I wanna find the area of the actual roof. Now we can cross multiply, and we have 250 equals X, and we have centimeters, oops, it's not centimeters anymore. If we think about our scale drawing and our actual, um, our actual house, it was centimeters on the model, but meters in the, um, in the actual house, which means we actually need to use meters squared. So be really careful about those units. All right, let's look at the second one. We have, if the volume of the model is 200 centimeters cubed, what's the volume of the actual building? So now I need to use my volume ratio, which was one over five, our scale factor cubed, or one over 125. Now I can use this to set up my proportion, one over 125 equals, and then use the volumes. Now they give us the volume of the model, which is the smaller house, and we want to find the volume of the actual house. So if I cross multiply here, my volume is going to be 25,000 meters cubed. All right. Now, example three is a different problem. We have the given solid is similar to a larger solid with the scale factor. So my scale factor is one to three. We want to find the surface area and volume of the larger solid if we know the surface area and volume of the smaller. So they give us these 
I know that the scale factor is 1 to 3, so I want to find my area ratios and my volume ratios. So we take our scale factor and we square it to get the area ratios, and we cube it to get the volume ratios. So my area ratio is 1 to 9, my volume ratio is 1 to 27. And I'm going to use these respective ratios to find the surface area and the volume. All right, so uh, for surface area, let's see. We've got surface area is our area ratio of 1 to 9 equals, and then we have to double check on the information we're given. They give us a surface area of 125.5. We have to figure out, does that go on top or bottom of our fraction? And they told us that that is the smaller solid, and I need to find the larger one. So 125.5 is going to go on top because that's a smaller piece of it, and I need to find the one on the bottom. All right, so if I cross multiply nine times, 125.5 is going to give me 1,129.5, and it looks like we are in meters. It didn't give us any other um, units in this problem, so we'll just stick with the meters and its surface area, so it's square. All right, and now I need to find my volume, so I use my volume ratio, 1 over 27 equals um, 87 over x. So now I'm using my volumes to find my volume. And we cross multiply 27 times 87 is 2349 and meters cubed for volume. So you know what? Instead of an x equals, I'm going to put v equals to stand for volume. We always want to label our answers. All right, and the last example, we have find the scale factor and the ratio of the surface areas. So they're giving us the two volume, um, the two volumes of our cones, and we need to use the volumes to find the scale factor. So it's going backwards this time. So if I know the ratio of the volume is 27 pi, to 125 pi, first thing we want to do is simplify this fraction. So we can get rid of the pi's and make it 27 over 125. All right, now if I want to find the scale factor, that's where we want to go next is our scale factor because I can take 27 and 125 and instead of going from the scale factor and cubing it to go to the volumes, we're going to cube root it. So we're going to take the cubed root of 27 and the cubed root of 125. You, or you can think of it as 27 is 3 cubed and 125 is 5 cubed. So my scale factor is going to be 3 over 5 after I cube root it. So there is my scale factor. And then my area, surface area ratios is going to be the scale factor, 3 over 5 squared, or 9 over 25. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.